Tony Vorginato from the technology firm. I'm going to walk you through today how to decrypt a wireless trace file that was encrypted with WPA2. So I want to start with uh, this little slide first. This is the tool I'm using to capture my packets. It's called a Fluke Networks uh, One Touch AT. It's uh, like a skinny kind of squash tablet and it's uh, pretty thick. So I'm using this thing to capture my packets and for the people interested I'm just going to go to the next slide just to show you what that looks like. This is the capture screen so I can choose uh, packet slicing, all sorts of regular stuff that you can do and even the file format uh, for the trace file which is pretty cool for Fluke to be able to support other ones, other trace file vendors. Uh, the big thing with this though is when you capture your packets because it's WPA2, WPA2 excuse me, it's important that you capture the beginning of the authentication so uh, if you if you're doing this again in your lab or in your office you need the client to make sure they're offline first start your capture and then have them uh, associate and authenticate to the access point and you'll get this kind of trace file so if I scroll around a little bit you'll see big packets here but again I don't see TCP or IP or anything uh, because it's de it's all encrypted it's not, it hasn't been decrypted yet so what we're gonna do is click on decryption keys and we're gonna type in a key and uh, here we go so it's going to be the key that you know about. This is this is not a um, a video on how to crack keys or recover keys. That's that's not what we're doing here. Okay. So I'm just basically typing the SSID as well as the passphrase, and I'm going to do the same thing uh, for the the other SSID because I know I'm going to be working on it anyways. There you go. And then that net whoops and that network is 24 gigahertz so there you go okay so when I click apply or okay you take a look and you say well it didn't do anything and, and that's where you have to know this, this little thing you either shut down Wireshark start it up again which is kind of going a little bit too far in my opinion you can just hit view and you can reload and when you do that now I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom and there's TCP so if I was to come up to my display filter and type TCP I can now filter on TCP, whereas before I would have gotten nothing. There you go, folks. Hope that helps. Have a good day. Bye for now.